My great-grandmother was a traditional Indian woman, and she knew how to live off the land. She would always busy herself with gathering foods, medicines, teas, and she would often go hunting. She always carried a knife and a hatchet with her when they would go walking to gather. My mother said one day they came upon a skunk's den. Oh no, Kunshi, let's go now, the girl said, since they didn't want to get sprayed. The grandmother said, come here, I am going to get medicine. She had a walking stick with a large V shape on the end. She gave her hatchet to my mom and said, I'm going to put this stick into the burrow and when I touch the skunk, I'm going to twist it and twist it and twist it so that it gets all the fur wrapped up in it. And then when I pull it out, granddaughter, you hit it on the head and kill it. Okay, my mother said. I always listened and did what she told me to do. And as it was being pulled out tail first, my mother hit it on the head and killed it. Then her grandmother took the knife and skinned the skunk. She cut it open and she took out the oil sack. She tied a string around the oil sack and put it in her pail that she saved. And she also added all the fat and cleaned the meat and put it into the bucket. They really did not waste anything. Years later, I was taking care of my mom's mother, who had a sore throat and a cough. I made her chicken soup and was serving her. She said, oh, I wish I just had some skunk oil. That would help my sore throat and take care of it. Wow, I thought. If my grandmother, who is so fussy about everything, is asking for skunk oil, it really must have worked. But I have never been brave enough to try to catch a skunk and see if this remedy does work.